couple was pretty cool. Okay, so my husband Luke and I and our housemate Danny took a flight out of Seattle to go to Cabo for some much needed sunshine. We caught an Uber to Ville del Pomar. That's the resort we stayed at. checked into our room, we threw our bags on the bed and headed straight to the beach. Playa El Medano is the most popular beach in Cabo. We passed tons of resorts and restaurants and vendors on our walk and check out these sunsets. Walking the beach was our favorite way to get into town because it's just so beautiful. The next morning we watched the sunrise and then took a boat ride to see the touristy stuff like El Arco. On the boat ride to El Arco, you'll pass Pelican Rock, which ironically had no pelicans on it since they had decided to chill over here instead. We also passed Neptune's Finger. It's named that because, well, it looks like a finger sticking out of the water. Just a bit further and we made it to Land's End. Some locals say this name came from pirates during the Age of Discovery who believed this to be the last point of land before reaching Antarctica. And this is where El Arco is. People say it looks like a gateway to the ocean. This is the best spot for taking pictures. The next stop for the rice and beans boat ride. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to mention that that's the name of our boat, rice and beans. Anywho, our next stop was Playa del Armor and Playa del Divorcio. You guessed it, that means Lover's Beach and Divorce Beach. Divorce Beach is on the Pacific Ocean and is dangerous to swim in since it's got strong rip currents. Lover's Beach is on the Sea of Cortez, so it's more protected and peaceful. This site is safer for swimming and snorkeling. When we landed, Danny fell in and I caught the whole thing on video. Let's go! Are you good? I got that! <laughs> Your phone's slightly waterproof? It's not. Oh, we need some rice, maybe some beans. <laughs> There's Lover's Beach on the Sea of Cortez. And then we turn around and there's Divorce Beach, which is a lot more empty. I wonder why. Maybe it's just because they.
that's the one. The next morning, we woke up early to go scuba diving with our friends. To get in the water today, we're going to do uh, an exit point from right here uh, and right there. Okay. It's going to be a back roll into the water. Oh, so yeah. You just uh, wait your BCDs, the red button, and then your BCD, hold on to your mask, and have the regulator in, mm -hmm. and back roll out. On the boat ride back, there were these super friendly seals. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we were starving when we got back, so we went to downtown Cabo for some food. I had a hard time deciding where to go since Cabo has so many good restaurants. We decided to eat lunch at Happy Ending Cantina. It's our favorite restaurant in Cabo because the prices are so good. We walked back to our hotel to get ready for New Year's Eve. Then we pre-funked at the saloon. We met this awesome couple there, Jake and Denise. They were so cute because they were on their honeymoon. Denise was able to get us into one of the coolest nightclubs. On our last day in Cabo, we fought through our massive hangovers to go see the top of a mountain. This morning we're gonna go hiking Mount Solmar and the way this works is it's on this guy's property and so we're at his gate here. Enrique, the owner of this property, is such a cool guy. He's got like 20 rescue dogs and every day he takes a couple dogs and a group of tourists up to the top of Mount Solmar. As tired as we were, this was absolutely worth it. <laughs> 